Hello everyone, here's a short video about my latest custom saber. This is another Nihilus saber um, from the Knights of the Old Republic, Sith Lords. This one is based off of the design on uh, Star Wars Wiki, uh, with more of a uh, angular look as well as a sculpted front end here. So this is aluminum and this is all sculpted metal epoxy so it's a reinforced metal epoxy we have a plastic end here with uh, that holds a double-a battery pack uh, we've got a Cree LED um, resistor for the LED um, for this battery pack and just a regular um, latching switch here So. No sound in this one, just a, a more simple stunt saber for cons and for the 501st. It's hard to hear most sound in a lot of conventions. So stunts seem to last longer and overall will hold up better uh, in conventions rather than people having to lean over and hear sound. So simple operation, flick stays down out of the way when it's on and up when off. Covertech knob here for to clip on the belt and that's just a, uh, a screw one you can remove that and add a, a simple 830 second screw which I'll include in this. This retention screw right here is actually the one holding the LED module in and this is the blade retention screw for when you put a blade onto this. I'm going to show, I'm going to unscrew this uh, slightly and the battery pack should slide out. You can see I've got a groove in here so you can easily grip that. The larger portion stays up to where it would meet this. That just slides back in and tightens back up it just holds in there pretty solid so show it with a blade in it I don't think I have any one inch blades but I've just got a, a one inch adapter on my 7 8 inch blade uh, to show this working get this Nice bright red blade. Of course, being a double A pack, it's not going to be as extremely bright, um, but resistor is calculated for this battery pack here. Two double A's, um, nice red Cree LED. Sorry for not having a one inch blade to just stick in there. Um, I haven't sanded down my adapter yet. So, But that shows the overall saver. Light weathering. A silver paint on the sculpted part, silver matching paint on the, the end part, and the rest is machined aluminum. All of these are actually separate pieces over top of the base hilt, so a nice deep groove look there, um, not just angled cuts. Uh, those are all actual separate pieces. These two parts up here are separate pieces on top as well. So overall, nice looking hilt. Hope you enjoy.